What's poppin' everybody? It is your girl Des. What's poppin' with it? Boo! Your girl is sober as fuck. I'm so, 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 so hyped for today's video. As you can tell, we are in a very, 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 very new location. Like, bitch, whose car is this? Bitch, this is my car. I'm going to be sharing with you guys the start to the finish of the whole bitch, really. Hello, I'm silent. Anyways, I'm gonna be telling you guys the whole story from start to finish from where I first started saving for a car, first started looking for a car, to where I am today with owning my car, having my car, being a car owner, and can you not? Okay. Cut up! <laughs> Bitch, what you doing? Getting melt at the oven. Look, I'm about to smoke this if you'd like to join. Sure. <laughs> Heck yeah, you're like, how can I deny? You down to be in the vid? Smoking But like, sit next to me? Okay, cool. Alright guys, so in today's video, not only am I going to be sharing with you guys my story, but I'm also going to be smoking this Shine 24K Gold Cone Joint. Like, what? Yes, bitch. Yes. So, without further ado, let's just get right on into the video! By the way, this is my first smoke stash in my car. So my car smells like fresh, new car. And I'm about to make it smell like some sort of 24K cold joint. By the way, this does have Gorilla Glue in it, so it's some super dank bud. About to smell like some Gorilla Glue and some gold mix up in my car. Alright guys, so to start off this smoke sesh, you already know I have to play a slapper. Like, I'm gonna tell you guys the story, do not even trip, but because I'm a basic ass bitch, I'm gonna play my favorite song, and I'm gonna snapchat, because bitch we whipping. <laughs> Don't fuck with me, cause I'll run you over, ho. Cheers! Okay, you guys, shout out to Hemper because this silicone ashtray is coming in clutch. I'm gonna have my special guest come through, and we're gonna hotbox my car, and we're gonna get started with this story time. Pull up! Is that unlocked? Yeah, it is. Cool. Well, it's popping. So, I'm currently telling a story on how I got my car. Or I haven't started yet, but I'm about to. Fuck, me too. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so this is recording. You ready for this story? You're about to hear the story too. Do you want me to go grab us water? <laughs> nope. Let's get it popping. <laughs> We're gonna have to suffer in this hot box. <sighs> suffer? Alright, so it all started off with obviously getting a motherfucking job. <laughs> Step number one. So, all you bitches out there wanna act like. Oh, YouTubers get paid so much money and this and that. Well, bitch, I obviously smoke weed because, like, this AdSense money is not coming through. So, that is a 24K pure gold joint. That's cool, huh? I have all these pieces of shit. And, oh, and by the way, this is the ashtray. Um, what's it called? Yeah, so I have a, a bunch. Oh Every single day when I'm done from work, I get these pieces of paper. When I clock out from work, I get these papers. This says eight hours, eight hours. Like all of these are eight hour long shifts. Oh my gosh, wait, let me fix this focus. It's too hot box. Yeah. Open the window. I know, nope, okay. No, let's just hot box, it's, it'll be cool. Oh, past that shit. <laughs> So yeah, basically, oh, you, you open the door. Yeah. Basically, I had to save up by working a minimum wage job. A lot of people think that if you have a minimum wage job, that it's really hard to save. Well, bitch, I pay my phone bill, I gotta pay my insurance, like, I have bills too, 
and I was working a minimum, minimum wage job. I sometimes I went to sleep and I was fucking hungry, but I'd rather save my money than fucking go out and buy myself a really fat ass meal. You know, I'd rather just make some toast with some motherfucking peanut butter. <laughs> like broke bitch problems. You know, you gotta pick up them happy hour deals, only go to the dispo when it's happy hour. You gotta budget yourself, honestly. But after you have like your money saved, I was still really confused as to how you can get your, your car. Like how the fuck do you get a car? Like the fuck, okay? Now I have this money saved, but how do you get a car? So at first, I was looking on offer up a lot, and like CarMax, and really anywhere on the internet. And I couldn't find anywhere where I had a nice car, you know? Like, for, all the, for the amount of money I had saved, all the cars were shit. All of them had lots of miles, like there was problems with it. It was terrible, so honestly, I feel really lucky to have the nice car that I have it's not the best car in the world it's not the newest car in the world but it is very 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 nice compared to anything I would imagine my first car being better than mine yeah like I did not think that I would be able to get myself this you know so I'm really proud of myself shoo but I want you guys to know that you're able to do it too you know I'm not special I'm not rich I'm not I didn't come from shit like I came from I came from nothing and I'm making myself something you know you gotta you gotta build like I always would dwell on the fact that my family all doesn't have like we're not all balling and I would always dwell on that because going to school there was hella people having nice cars driving to school having their parents let them use their cars their parents buying them cars and I was like damn it why can't I be like them why can't my parents buy me a car you know it's not because they didn't want to it's because they couldn't afford it and that just means that I had a hustle for what I got and that's okay you know we all have different situations and everything happens for a reason really so who knows what if I had a car way before I probably would have crashed and been dead because I would probably not have been safe you know so now I'm a little bit older now I know not to be super stoned driving right now I'm not gonna drive after this video so don't even think that but yeah so I feel like I, I did a terrible way at explaining this but in my mind when I was about to film this video I was telling myself that I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna be super serious, I'm gonna get deep, and then now here I am, stoned as fuck, just like, <laughs> yeah, it's super easy. No, it's actually really hard, like my coworkers were assholes, they made me wanna cry, sometimes they did make me cry. Like I remember it was my first day of work, dude, and I went to go unlock the restroom, cause we have to use a key, and I fucking, are you still hitting that? Are you passing that? You can hit it first. <laughs> I just wasn't sure, I was like, oh shit. Um, what's it called? I unlocked the bathroom and I didn't knock first like a dumbass and there was a, my co-worker in there screaming at me saying oh my god and I was like oh shit you know like I didn't know she was in there and then I ran to the back of the store and I started like almost crying and I was like <laughs> I'm gonna get fired I hate my job like everybody hates me like honestly I had a previous job before this one to spare my second job and this job I have now is way worse than the job I had before and I used to think the job I had before was worse so it's like you just live and you learn I should try to do a French inhale even though I don't know how that's so hard for me honestly because like I'm used to inhaling it and with French inhale you can't inhale it <laughs> this automatically just went out Look at it, I bought a cute little air freshener. Now I have all these papers just like on my car. I was gonna say we gonna have to clean this. Just made a whole mess in your car. But like I have to prove a point, like I was working every single day you guys. Like I had to go in on Saturdays and I would only work three hours. And it was like what the fuck, I could be spending that time with my family. But instead I was waking up super early, taking a shower and getting my ass to work. Sometimes I had to walk to work, sometimes I had to walk home. Like I didn't have a car you know, but look at me now. All you have to remember is that okay, I'm hustling, I'm working, but it'll pay off. What name is that? I know, right? <laughs> They're dumbasses. I don't know why they did that to me. Was that on all of them? They don't even know your name. Let's play a song now. 
<laughs> let's play a song. But yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. Like, if you have any more questions, let me know down below because I'd really like to do another video like this. I don't know. What else could I say? How did I get my car? Well, I do have my own business. You guys, you guys already know that. <laughs> you had to drive all the way out there too to get it. <clears throat> Every single. You guys, I only had one day off of work and that was either Sunday or Monday. And on those days, I was going to do my laundry and I was going to the post office. I was going to Staples just because I didn't have a printer. I needed to print. That's where I go every single day. Or not every day, but every time I print. And um, what's it called? Like, I'm straight though. I never thought I'd be able to live this life. But it's not even all that because I'd be hella sad sometimes. I'd be crying my eyeballs out. I'd be like, oh my god. But then sometimes I'm high and then I'm sitting in my car and I'm like, oh my god. So like, you know, I don't want you guys to think my life is perfect. But honestly, I'm making it the best that I can make it. That's some real shit right there because I could be fucking a loser ass bum if I wanted to. But instead I'm hustling. I'm turning in resumes every single day. Or at least I was, and then I was so grateful because my my boss, my ex boss, she she thought I was really nice when I turned in my resume. I was just like, "Hello, how are you?" I was wondering if I could just leave my resume just in case you guys had any openings, and she was like, "Yeah, of course. Come back tomorrow at this time for an interview." And I was like, "No way. I will have my how to get ready with me for an interview video down below," and. I got the job, you know, and then what's super dope also is that I got to work really really often There was other people at my work who have been working there for years and they were not getting the hours I was getting and my boss even told me that because she's seen how hard I was working Like I literally had to be scrubbing toilets So fucking disgusting it smells like fucking nasty ass fish period blood and guy fucking ass farts all mixed in a blender like that shit was disgusting and I would just bring my little wax pen you know I'd make the best of it I'd be having my little music on the low you know you really just have to make the best of it and now look at me I quit my job cuz fuck that shit better things are about to come so huge shout out to everybody who supports me you guys are very much appreciated could not be where I am without you obvious fucking lead don't even need to say that cuz you already know that but I'm gonna head on out now any words I talk really fast, huh? I'm surprised I'm not shy, like, talking in front of you. Why would you be? Bro. Hey! It's your birthday! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you guys. Do not forget to stay late, stay up, and stay motherfucking positive. Double deuce. Until next time. <laughs>